Uh, hello, uh, my name was Black Sheep and now I've changed it to White Sheep. And this is my testimony of how Jesus saved me from my selfishness and from my sin. So basically for the last few years, although I've been a Christian uh, most of my life, I was going astray and I was walking away from God and righteousness and towards selfishness and sin. Uh, it did not just happen uh, one day, but it happened over time. Uh, but still, the effects was very serious and my life just fell apart. My problem was, although I believed in God and Jesus, I started to believe in my own interpretation of God and Christianity. Uh, specifically, my approach to sin and my responsibility towards sin. So, I wanted to have God and Jesus, but also do whatever I wanted. And that just can't be and it also didn't work. Specifically, I believed I was right and everyone else was in the wrong. So naturally, I, I was very angry at most people and I isolated myself and I became more addicted to pornography, gaming, YouTube and just the internet in general. At some point, I found myself in a bad place and at the time, I was convinced that all I needed was just money to fix my life. So uh, I tried to make that money. Uh, I made the few YouTube fix that's on here. And I tried, to write, I tried to write music at some point, and I got into rap for a while, and I also tried to make a board game. So this goes back to the board game. So I put a lot of time and effort into the board game, and it was going pretty well. The, the race didn't go so well. But the more I kept working on it, the, the more I felt a huge spiritual weight on my shoulders. Uh, it's not that hard to describe, because it felt like an actual physical weight on my shoulders. Again, I just reached a point where I couldn't carry it anymore. And it felt to me like God was telling me that I was walking away from Him and that I had to accept then uh, the weight of my sins, the weight of the world's sins or the world, uh, my faith and my life and the afterlife and carry it on my own, like my, my afterlife, carry it all on my own. And I just couldn't do that. So I threw it all away. I deleted all of the data, and all of the stuff I did. I just threw it all away. And that was my turning point, even though I didn't know it at the time. Slowly, God was revealing to me what was wrong in my life and convicting me of my sins and helping me to change, to rely on Him and the sacrifice of His Son, Jesus, for my sins. So at first it was just the pornography, but as time went on, God showed me that I was spending way too much time alone with, uh, with the Internet and media and its influences. So God helped me become more social, took me back to church, which I enjoyed very much, and helped me turn away from my addiction to pornography, excessive gaming, YouTube, and the media, and so on. It sounds like a lot, but it's true. Like, Jesus really is real, and He loves me, and He really does, and He loves you. So there is hope. For a very long time, I believed that there was no hope. Just doing whatever seemed good to you seemed to, to me to be the only truth. But that's a lie. Jesus did really come and die for your sins and mine. And whatever your problem, addiction or issue you have, Jesus can really help you. I also tried helping myself for a long time because I believed that you had to help yourself. No one else can help you. But that's also a lie. Only with the help of the only Son of God who created the heavens and the earth. You and me can, uh, can be saved and our lives can be healed and changed for the better. If this sounds too good to be true, I also believed for a long time that, that the Jesus that was preached of my faith that I adopted was also just too good to be true and it was unrealistic. But that's also a lie. Jesus can and will and is the only way that your life can truly be changed. The, like, if this was not the case, I would either have been dead by now because of my, like, my depression would be becoming too much for me, or I would be completely mad as my sins took control of my life and forced me into chaos. I can only speak for myself, and this is my testimony, not anybody else's. Uh, if you're in the same place that I was, I just want you to know that Jesus loves you. God loves you too. He sent Jesus to die for you and me. That's how much He loves you and me. And please give God and give Jesus a chance. If you're like, like I was, and you already are a Christian, 
but you've not yet turned your life over to Jesus, please do so and re receive help and divine healing. It is a miracle cure for your life, but it also takes your own responsibility of your own choices, right? You can either make good or bad choices. Good choices have good results and bad choices have bad results. That's obvious. It is straightforward, but what I'm saying is that you need Jesus' help for you to be faithful and for you to be consistent in making good choices for your own sake and for others sake. I'm not telling you that my life is perfect now or that I have no problems now or believe that I'll never have any problems in the future. But compared to where I was and who I was, I now really truly feel like a new man with new life for the better. And that's what I'm recommending right, to you. So, And I give the credit to Jesus Christ, the only Son of God. I would just like to end by reading from Isaiah 53, verse 6. And all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath, hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Thank you very much for listening.